Hey there, welcome back to Broken Knights Games. Today, I will be talking about source control using Git with a Unity project and how to get everything set up so you can start developing with confidence and peace of mind knowing your project is backed up in the cloud. Now, there are a ton of really good tutorials on how to use Git with a Unity project. Um, however, I wasn't able to find any good ones that demonstrate using Git with Git LFS and why you would want to. Now, Git LFS uh, which stands for large file storage is an extension designed for handling large files efficiently which will save you time in your workflow and storage space on your drive and it's pretty easy to set up so what is git lfs and why should i use it so git repositories by design contain the entire version history of every file ever committed so every time you make a change to a file and commit it the repository keeps a snapshot version of that file in its history so this can become problematic if you commit large binary files such as models, textures, videos, or even Photoshop files uh, because these files are relatively large in size compared to the source code files which are usually just plain text. Um, so every time someone commits or modifies one of these large files and commits to the repository, it creates another version of that file. So you can imagine how over time as these files keep changing across a uh, series of revisions, uh, the size of the repository will grow to unnecessarily large sizes, which will waste a lot of drive space on your local machine. Not only that, when someone else comes along and clones your remote repository uh, to their machine, the clone will take a slightly longer or even really long time depending on the size of your project uh, because it's going to download the entire history of the repository which contains all those different versions of those large files. And in most cases, we don't need to go back into the history that far uh, for these large files um, and these historical versions. Um, and keeping all these is a total waste of space. Luckily, we can use git lfs to mitigate this. We simply install git lfs into our repository and tell it what kind of files it should manage for us. Um, and what this will do is, as we commit and push these files which are tracked by git lfs, they will get pushed to a separate file storage location um, and it'll create a small a text pointer file added to the repository, which is very small in size. And basically it tells uh, Git where to download that file if we need it. With this configured, when we clone a repository, Git will only download the version of the LFS tracked files that we need instead of the entire version history of all those files. <clears throat> so I'm going to walk through a couple steps that you can take to get Git get 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 a git so I'm gonna walk through a couple of steps that you can take to get a repository with git set up using git lfs to manage your large project files to use with a unity project so that you can build with the power and security of source control all right so first off I'm gonna assume that we have git installed and that you have used it before or you're at least somewhat familiar with it but if not you can download it from git-scm.com uh, next up we're gonna install git lfs uh, git large file storage so you can download that from git-lfs.github.com and I'll have a link to all these sites in the video description and then next up I'm going to be using the github desktop GUI client. Uh, I just prefer to use it. Uh, it's a little bit more visual. Um, <clears throat> you can also download that from desktop.github.com. All right, so next up, I am on github.com. That's the site we're going to be creating our remote repository on. So I will just go to my repositories. All right, and then we're going to go to new. And we'll call this one Unity Git LFS Example. Um, you can set it to public or private. I'll choose private. Um, and then we're going to add a git ignore. Uh, and then you can search for Unity. And what this will do is it'll ignore all the standard <coughs> Unity files that don't need to be committed into source control, things that the ed editor generates, uh, meta, asset files, etc. So I'll go ahead and click create repository. All right, and we have our repo. So now we're going to clone our repository. Um, so I'll do that with the desktop client here. I'm just going to go to File, Clone Repository. Uh, we'll search for my repository here. There it is, Git LFS Example. Um, we'll choose a local path. 
<clears throat> in this case I'm going to save it to f github you need to get LFX example that looks good and I'm going to go ahead and click clone okay so now we have our repository so if I open it up in Explorer we will see unity git lfs example we'll go in here we have our git ignore file and our, our git folder all right so we have our repository here and i'm going to right click and choose this git bash here um, if you don't have this option you can also navigate here with a command prompt and execute the same commands so open up the git bash terminal um, we're in our repository and we are going to tell git to use uh, git lfs so I'm gonna type git lfs install alright so git lfs is installed alright so now we're gonna want to add a git attributes file um, and basically tell git lfs what files we want to track so for an example you could say git because by default git lfs won't track large files we have to tell it which file types are going to be large so uh, for example like a photoshop file you just simply type git lfs track and we're going to do quotes star dot psd and end quotes basically telling any file type that ends with a psd we're going to track and it'll add this git attributes file so I'm going to open this up and you can see um, it adds PSDs um, to our git attributes file. So now we're going to, going to go and create a Unity project and add it to this repository. Okay, so I have the Unity Hub open. I'm going to click on New and we'll do a 3D with extras so it'll add some stuff that we can commit and I will call this sample <coughs> git LFS and we're going to put it in our folder unity git lfs example and i'll click create all right so we have our sample uh, unity project here with some assets um, we can look here we have assets under materials um, textures we have uh, some drywall textures and um, you can see here this is a uh, three thousand kilobytes so it's about 3.4 megabytes um, i mean that's fairly large when you're talking about just regular files um, like a code file for example that's gonna be um, a couple of kilobytes usually um, so we're gonna want to make sure we have under our project settings um, under asset serialization we want it to ensure we have force text selected um, so we're everything's serialized as text so we can commit it to uh, our git repository in a clean way um, and then if we look in our github client <clears throat> so this is actually good um, so it says 5450 change files that does not seem correct um, because a lot of these should be ignored with our git ignore file um, so if you look in our folder here um, and we look at our git ignore um, you can see here that um, if we scroll down we'll see a bunch of these you know git library assets and <clears throat> this folder library is specified in the git ignore um, but if you look here this git ignore file should be placed at the root of your unity project directory so if we look at our unity project um, it's actually in the sample git lfs folder so what i'm going to do is just take this git ignore file and place it here and now if we go back to our github client we see okay we only have 250 changes <clears throat> so that looks more correct all right so now we're going to be telling git lfs that we're going to be tracking our texture files and our models because um, those tend to change over time as there's iterations um, and they're good candidates for git lfs um, and to make things easier i have forked off of a another github repository um, a sample git attributes file um, it's got all the common asset file types that you would want um, managed by git lfs so I will also include a link to this but I'm just going to simply copy this 
file's contents. And you can look through here and feel free to add or if there's any missing file types that you work with, uh, just let me know um, or add them to your own. <clears throat> and we'll go back into here and open up our git attributes file and I'm just going to replace the entire contents with what I copied from the sample file and I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Alright, so now we have all our files. I'm just going to do my initial commit and commit it to master. So using git LFS, um, just the same git workflow, um, you're going to be adding files, committing them, committing changes, uh, pushing your changes, and git LFS will automatically manage and track those files behind the scenes and um, handle the pointers. Alright, so now if we want to make sure that our texture files and our models are being tracked with git LFS, what we can do is, so if we go back into our um, git bash here, um, just to, to show you that these are being tracked, I'll make this a little bit bigger here. And so if we say git LFS, and then if we do ls dash files, this will list out all the files that are being tracked by with git LFS. And you can see here we have our, our FBX um, model files and our TIF texture files. Now you can keep all your large files managed in source control without worrying about wasting your drive space, which will also give you peace of mind in case your computer craps out or your hard drive decides to stop working. And remember, when working with Git, commit often and don't forget to push your changes to the remote repository frequently. So that's all for today, and if you found this video helpful, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try my, to answer as best I can. And if you want to see more game dev tutorials or want to see what other game dev projects I'm working on, subscribe to my channel as I am currently posting a new video every other Friday. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.